Visit our fabulous sponsor, Ka Gold Jewelry, link in the description below. Hello, fabulous Pisces. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of March, 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is, and it truly is. I do think of all the Zodiac, you are the favorite, and that is because the really big things, or at least some of the big things that are gonna happen, are happening in your sign, which makes it that much more an important time. One of the things to take place is Mercury retrograde. And Mercury will retrograde in your sign right around the fifth of the month, give or take a day on either side, depending on where you are on the planet. And the next day, there will be a new moon in your sign. Now, what is distinct about this phenomenon is Neptune. The Mercury retrograde is gonna dance with Neptune in the coming months and will characterize much of this Mercury retrograde season. The new moon is happening hand in hand with Neptune as well. And it is amped up because of its harmonious connections to Mars, Saturn, and Pluto. And what this tells me is that you are thinking about yourself more deeply and reconsidering who you are. The answers are not gonna be very clear, I have to say. Mercury retrograde is notorious for not allowing clarity and you add to that Neptune is really not a planet of clarity at all. But it is a great time to dream. It's a great time to root yourself in spiritual principles and an amazing time for you to consider what it would mean for you to live a life that feels more blessed with magic. This energy is ultimately inviting you to be redefined in some way and to understand more clearly what matters to you most and what matters to you first to clarify matters of identity for you and to understand that the most powerful identity you're going to have is that of a spiritual being. And as such, a matter near and dear to your heart may very well feel like you are embarking on a new journey in alignment with it. It can feel like a time of new beginnings of all kinds and new understandings and perspectives. You might feel called towards sacred lands or sacred spaces or feel sacred connections with other people as part of this. Now the most powerful ones, the most powerful connections with people, places and things are going to be those that have come back around in some way. Uh, people that you were connected to once before but lost touch with just magically appear. Uh, where it was that there was an opportunity and it went, now could come back around. Where it is that you thought you understood more deeply some truth about yourself, but now you get another chance to look at it and you see it differently with more compassionate eyes. And in this way, this is going to be a month that not only represents a new month, but really a new year in key ways, a new chapter for you. And if it isn't clear right away what this chapter is going to mean, what the key words are, don't worry, they will reveal themselves to you. And a lot of it is gonna be based on what just shows up. It is going to feel uh, very synchronistic, it's going to feel very blessed and the greatest opportunities that are gonna show up now will just show up, but you'll be actually working on them for many months to come. Now, what adds to the energy of this time is that under the light of the new moon, Uranus will change signs. Last year, we got a little taste of Uranus moving into the sign of Taurus, and it is gonna be now, same day, as the new moon in your sign, that Uranus will step into a part of the sky for you that has to do with perception and communication of all kinds and so much more. Now I spoke a lot about Uranus and this journey that you're gonna be embarking on for the better part of the next seven years in the Uranus special horoscope and I will link to that YouTube video in the description below. But having said that, this can be a very powerful time for you to find yourself seeing things very differently. Your powers of perception will be crystal clear. You'll be able to hone in on what it is that you need to truly understand, but to also understand what it is that you uniquely want to say and have to say in the world and for yourself. And 
at least for this month and around this new moon, what it is that you perceive, what it is that you understand, what it is that you communicate will be intimately connected to this rising redefinition, a, a renewed identity that you haven't felt as connected to before or especially as of late. It's a clarity of intellect that hand in hand meets a spiritual connection that you feel. And it is this that can awaken your mind and your powers of persuasion. So this is truly monumental. It is a powerful time. And if anybody out there is going to feel brand new this month, it certainly is you. Now, as we move later into the month, we are going to have the equinox. So happy equinox to everyone out there on the 21st. But on the same day, we are also going to have a full moon. This full moon is happening in a part of the sky for you that can be a, a part of the sky that is intense, to put it mildly. It has to do with seeing things more profoundly, more deeply, and in some way feeling a sense of rebirth or a renewal, if you will. This part of the sky on a more mundane level is connected to your relationship with financial institutions. Now, one thing that characterizes this time is that it has a sense of fruition. It is a full moon, so something is uh, coming to completion, coming to full circle. But it's at the very beginning of its sign, so there's also this sense of a new beginning transpiring for you. And so for some of you, this can be something like uh, making your final payment on a loan that you had, uh, and that allows you to feel that much more renewed and like you're starting over. And there may be some financial opportunities, uh, especially as it relates to things like grants, loans, bursaries, or as it relates to benefits you may qualify for that can come around at this time. So again, if you've been engaged in a matter where it comes to these areas, this is where you get the news that you need so that you feel like you have the resources you need and you're able to put a matter behind you. And this can be a time of financial settlements as well. But some of you may not necessarily realize this energy only on financial terms. As I said, this can be a time of emotional honesty and of regeneration, psychological and physical regeneration at that. And in some way, as I look at this, I feel like the month starts on a level of identity and mind, but then it goes to these much deeper levels of psyche and spirit. And through it all, the common theme is that you are beginning again and you're excited about it. You're enthusiastic about the path in front of you and in some way you are redefining yourself in ways that you really like. Where it comes to matters of love, I do think that this full moon is going to be very powerful because in addition to the things I mentioned, it also has to do with vulnerability. It has to do with intimacy, especially emotional intimacy. For those of you who are open to meeting someone new, it is at this full moon that you could have a powerful catalyst moment with another person. Now, this full moon is essentially what we call an aspected. So what that means is it's not really making connections to other power players, at least not any classical connections, but it is ultimately one that says you get that sense of emotional connection and clarity, and you get a chance to feel like you have a whole new perspective as a result. So whatever it is that comes about a moment or comes after a moment, it will ultimately be something that leaves you feeling changed. For those of you who are getting to know somebody, it is gonna be this full moon that allows you to be honest about what it is that is transpiring, how you feel about it, and whether or not you truly feel connected to this person. Is the connection there? Is the spark there? And where it is, this can be a time of a deepening bond. But where it is that it isn't, this is where you're going to be more honest with yourself and more willing to make change. For those of you who are in an established bond, this can be a very powerful energy. On the one hand, it can bring a focus to your partner's finances, but on the other hand, I like to think of this as a time when you are willing to trust each other more, you're being more open, you're being more vulnerable, and that in turn, that sense of vulnerability in turn, can allow you to feel that much more clear as to yourself and your shared purpose. 
This is where you come to appreciate how it is that your bond has changed you. And you come to understand that this renewed version of yourself is one that you love very much. What I love about this month for you, well, look, there's a lot here, but it really just comes down to that new moon, doesn't it? Because this is your new chapter. This is your fresh start on a matter near and dear to your heart. Wherever it is that you had hoped to go a new way or to start fresh or to just feel as if you are stepping into the best version of yourself, well, that's where this new moon is gonna work over time to help you to appreciate that you know, you really are able to begin again. And it is a path as it is revealed to you is one that looks truly rewarding. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.